Hello, buenas noches. Y eso que pasó. ¿Qué pasó? Ajá, no Se me complicó todo, teacher. Ya no pude conectarme. Ay, va a disculpar, pero ya que se está esperando, trata de salir lo más luego de mi trabajo. Sí, y gracias imagino. a Dios que nos sacaron temprano. Así, ah, y eso le comentaba a sus compañeros. Ay, Ale, a saber qué le pasó, le digo, que ya no se pudo conectar, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, estaba un poquito complicado ayer, pero lo bueno es que está acá. Bueno, sí. eh, eh, verá, ayer Ale, sí, escuchó algo, ¿verdad? De la clase, que in, on, at, pero como preposiciones de lugar. Al inicio nada más, ya de ahí ya no le escuché, se me cortó todo, solo el, el, el comienzo de la clase nada más. Luis. Ah, ok, vaya, entonces vamos a hacer un repaso porque es una continuación de lo que, de lo que vimos ayer, lo que trabajamos. Ajá, Eric tampoco pudo conectarse ayer, Eric Enrique, entonces vamos a hacer un repasito, pero sí les digo, lo que, lo que tienen que ubicarse es en la dirección de su, de su empresa donde trabajan, ¿verdad? La dirección y lo, los edificios o, digamos, las tiendas, los almacenes, las construcciones, las edificaciones que están cerca de, 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 su, de su puesto de trabajo, de su lugar, de, de Como la, la guía con la que trabajan. Las referentes, ajá, correcto, y las direcciones, sí. Porque um, ayer hicieron un mapa, ¿verdad? Con las calles. ¿Sí? Y, y los lugares que están más cercanos a, 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 al lugar donde ustedes trabajan, ¿sí? a la compañía en la que trabajan. Y ahí fue donde utilizamos las preposiciones in, on, at, pero um, para mencionar las calles, las avenidas y, y sucesivamente, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a hacer un repaso más, más generalizado cuando ya... Iniciamos formalmente, solo les digo para que eh, trabajamos en la página 40, ¿sí? Ahí la hay... página 40. Sí, la 40. Entonces ahí váyanse ubicando. Hello, ¿Cómo? Kelly. Hola, niña. Ayer ya al final ya no se pudo conectar, ¿verdad? Le falló ahí algo y, y la extrañamos. Ok. Vamos a contestar acá. Página 40 dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, ya vamos a hacer un repaso en general, pero solo para que se vayan ubicando, ¿verdad? En las direcciones. Sí, Kelly sí estuvo bastante tiempo, ¿verdad? En la clase. Y pudo trabajar un poquito sobre eso. Ok, Mario, hello. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. And we were missing some of you yesterday. Ayer estuvimos extrañando a varios de ustedes. Pero bueno, ya están por acá. In one minute, we are going to get started, ¿ok? Tal vez se logra conectar ahora Eric Fernando, Eric. Eh, la verdad no sé, fíjese, porque... Bastante está, trabajo. Está súper atrasado con... Uh -huh, entonces, Sobre todo con esto de la lluvia, ¿verdad? No, fíjese que tiene que ver ah, más que sí. todo con, con los procesos de la carretera, la oh, vía del puente. Ajá, sí. eso. Okay, Creo que muy bien. Que, lo que pasa es que el jefe de él está incapacitado, entonces le toca todo. Ah, ya. Yeah. Sí, así es, Mira, ahí le van a dar por lo menos una tercera parte del sueldo del jefe al pobre. <risa> oh, ay. Fuera bueno, pero hasta ver. Solo lo digo, justo. ¿verdad? Lo justo. Just to encourage him. <risa> Solo para, para No, motivarlo. tiene mucha razón, Alex. Ya, yeah. ya, yeah. that should sí, mira, be. bien feo porque te duplican el trabajo, pero no el sueldo. Más trabajo te ponen sí. mi, lo mismo. <risa> bueno, experiencia, you get expertise. Ok, 
okay? logran experiencia. Hello, José Eso Mauricio, sí. welcome. Uh, hello, Carla good Daniela, evening. hello, Daddy. Good evening, welcome. Hey, listen, it is the time to get started. So, for the people who were absent yesterday, like Alexandra and Eric Enrique, okay, we're going to get started because we need to continue with the locations. Yeah, and here we go. We're going to continue with that, but we're going to add another structure to describe it better, para describir mejor eh, la dirección de nuestro lugar de trabajo, okay? So here we go, all of you are really welcome. Hello, Ruth, good evening, welcome. And here we go, okay, Abdel, okay, is uh, in his way home, está de camino. Okay, thank you, Abdel, for joining. And I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you as every single day. Okay, let me see. Yes, it is ready. Entonces, chicos, chicas, acabamos. Okay, today we're going to hmm, be working. Okay. On this how to use there is and there are. This is the highlight for today, there is and there are. Singular, there is, plural, there are, okay? And we move to the next activity, the next slide. Today is our video conference number 17. Es decir, nuestra clase es eh, la 17 ahora, solo nos quedan tres más para que finalicemos. Si no hay ningún problema, Uh, no sé cómo está la naturaleza, ¿verdad? Estaríamos terminando el día lunes, sería nuestra clase número 20. Así es que les pido eh, cordialmente que traten de estar en las clases, ¿verdad? Lo más posible porque, eh, pues sí, ya estamos en la ruta final, ¿sí? Ok, very well. So here in today's agenda, we have greetings. Ok, sure. what I did, yes, at the beginning. Yes, Eric. Um... ¿Y hay alguna evaluación final o no? Sí, ahí está la evaluación final ah, en la, la, plataforma. la plataforma. Sí, correcto. Ah, okay. Así okay. es. Ok, entonces yo les he pedido que, que traten de ir avanzando, ¿verdad? Para que el día lunes, pues, no, no se les acumule, porque para ese día ya tiene que estar todo terminado. Sobre todo con los problemas de, de internet, de conexión, que se suelen tener Máxime ahora que estamos teniendo lluvias bien fuertes y pues ya saben toda la situación que hemos vivido los últimos días, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que no se les acumule todo el trabajo o vayan a tener un problema al final, traten de ir avanzando, de avanzar más lo del fin, en el fin de semana, traten que todo les quede completito el fin de semana para que ya el lunes estén tranquilos, ¿de acuerdo? Porque yo sé que se levantan bien temprano, la clase termina un poquito tarde y tienen que descansar, ¿verdad? Pero um, vamos a tratar de ir avanzando, ¿ok? So, we're going to have a short feedback, we're going to read the objectives, and we're going to be working with propositions of place again. There is and there are. We're going to be practicing the topic, and we're going to be working at pages 40, 41, and 42, and wrapping up the class, y el cierre de la clase. So again, here I'm going to ask one volunteer to help me reading the specific objective and the class objective for today. Who wants to help me? Hello. Thank you, Alexandra. El specific object. Objective, yes. Todo. Todo. Okay. To practice. Okay, practice will be able to describe the location of my and other world workplace a class of objective. Part participant will be able to use you, you see there is and there are um, plus one quantifier. Plus quantifiers. Plus, plus quantifiers. Thank you. Very well. And here we have the specific objective. 
and the class objective. If you notice, there is something different. In the specific objective, participants will be able to describe the location of my and others' workplaces. Mi, la ubicación de mi trabajo y de otros, de otras personas, porque así como ayer estábamos trabajando en equipo y el beautiful map que hicieron, ¿verdad? Ahí haciendo uso de su creatividad y su talento. Very original, everyone. Ok. Eh, vamos a continuar, pero the class objective goes like this, como nos ayudó a leer a, a Alexandra. Participants will be able to use their is and there are plus quantifiers, los cuantificadores. Un, una, algunos, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Que okay? esos son los cuantificadores porque nos permiten decir cuántos o cuántas personas, objetos, animales o cosas. De acuerdo, no se asusten con la palabra quantifiers. Uh, there is singular, there are plural, y las dos significan hay, okay? So now we move in here about homeworks and evaluations. What I told you since the very beginning today, uh, I need you to try to be, you know, working in the platform, okay? On your homework week number four and also in your final test because on Monday is the last class. Now we're going to have a brief brainstorming as every day. And here is your participation, okay? So I need everybody participating. And for the people who had any problem yesterday, tell me what do you remember we did yesterday in class? What did you practice yesterday? Do you remember? Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yesterday we worked with the prepositions of place. But basically we work with three prepositions of place. ¿Cuáles fueron esas tres preposiciones de lugar en las que nos enfocamos ayer? At, in, at, on. In, on, at. El orden no es problema, ¿verdad? In, on, at. Las tres significan en, pero tienen una función especial cada una de ellas, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Qué más hicieron ayer? ¿Qué más trabajaron? En los equipos, individualmente, ¿se recuerdan? Did you ask and answer any question? Yes. Ok. So... Uh, you practice speaking, yes? Mm -hmm. Practicaron mm -hmm. speaking. Did you practice writing? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Okay, great. You also practice vocabulary. Okay, one more thing. You practice speaking, reading, writing, vocabulary, and drawing. Uh -huh. Drawing. Um, okay. The workplace. Okay. Drawing the location of your workplace. And we also work with locations. Yes. Sí. Y también repasamos in on a como preposiciones de lugar. Yeah. Okay. Very well. Basically, this is what we did yesterday. So thank you very much for your active participation on this. And now here. I'm going to continue sharing my screen with you guys. Here we go, okay? So let's move to the next slide. And here is what we shared yesterday. A esto le tomaron un screenshot ayer, si se recuerdan, esto es parte del feedback, okay? At, in, on. At, con un, lo utilizamos para un punto o lugar específico. In, para un lugar o un área determinada, pero dentro de ese lugar o dentro de eh, esa área, ¿de acuerdo? Por ejemplo, a on, en la superficie de algo. If I say, look at me, look at this, okay? Where is my blue pen? Where is my blue pen? ¿Dónde está mi lapicero azul? It is, okay. Where is my blue pen? 
tapón, muy bien porque está sobre la superficie de algo. Pero si estuviera, imaginémonos acá, ¿ok? Over here, you see? Ay, no, yo no sé. ¿Ok? Dentro de, ¿cuál sería la preposición? In, on, in, very well, excellent. Y así cada una de las preposiciones, in, on, a, tiene su función específica. Entonces tenemos, por ejemplo, at the front desk, at the entrance, at the crossroads, at the corner, at the bus stop, at the top of the page, at the end of the road, at the door, in the garden, in San Salvador, in Puerto Rico, en un país, ¿verdad? in a box, in a bag, in my wallet, in a house, in a car. On, sobre una superficie, on the ceiling, on the wall, on the cover, on the door, on the carpet, on the menu, on a page, on the floor, on the table. ¿Sí? Muy bien. Ahora continuamos. Those were the prepositions of place that we were working with yesterday. And one more thing over here. If you remember, you went to practice asking and answering these questions. For example, where do you live? I live in, okay. So, Alexandra, where do you live? Where do you live? I live in Apopa. I live in Apopa, very well. Okay, if I say, Abel, do you live in a house or in an apartment? A ver, a ver, I live I, in a house, teacher. I live in a house. Very well. Noé. Noé, do you prefer to stay at home or at work? Noé. I prefer to stay at home. Okay, excellent. Uh, Mario, where do you keep your money? Mario, are you here? Money in the wallet. In my wallet, very well. And this is for uh, Carla Daniela. Where do you hang a clock? On the wall. On the wall, very well. Muy bien, excelente. And here we go like this. Okay, more prepositions of place. Ayer, si se recuerdan, estuvieron trabajando en el mapa, como lo dijimos al inicio, ¿verdad? En el brainstorming. Y utilizamos únicamente las tres preposiciones, in, on, at. Pero algunos de ustedes me estaban preguntando acerca de between, entre. Y yo les hacía la aclaración a algunos compañeros que between es entre, pero entre dos personas, animales, cosas, objetos. Si ya son tres, entonces sería among. Y el significado es el mismo. Between, solo entre dos. Y yo les explicaba ayer, por ejemplo, eh, okay. look at this. Similar to the example I uh, gave you yesterday. Where is, where is the pink marker? Where is the pink marker? Look at my screen. Look at me. Just teacher. Make... It between a red and blue marker. Pinks. Pinks. Because this is a marker and this is a pen and this is another pen. If you notice, okay. So the pink marker is between the blue and the red pens. Está entre porque está entre dos. Ahora, si estuviera entre. Estos tres lapiceros ya no sería, miren, between, sino que sería among, ¿verdad? Porque ya son más de dos, ¿de acuerdo? Y los dos significan entre, ¿ok? Now, in front of, algunos me preguntaban, ¿y por qué? Como ya estaban ubicando su mapa, ¿verdad? Opposite of, next to, behind, detrás. Okay, behind. So we have next to, in front of, opposite of, between, among, behind, in, on, at. Los tres significan in, on, para las calles y avenidas, ¿sí? Eso fue lo que vimos ayer, ¿se recuerdan? Muy bien. 
You may take a screenshot of this information if you want to, okay? So you can have it because you're going to use it later on. Lo van a utilizar más tarde, okay? So in, on, at, between, among, next to, in front of, opposite of, behind, y hay otras, ¿verdad? Pero en este momento solo con esto, porque tenemos under, the back, o abajo. Okay, so here, uh, do you have any question about this? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta sobre esto? Okay, if I ask you, look at me, please. Look at the teacher. Where is, uh, where is my computer? Where is my computer? It is in front of you. Very well. Now, if I ask you, where is my wall? Behind of you. It's, it's, it's behind, behind you. you. Behind you. Okay, behind mm -hmm. you. Porque ya behind ya lleva implícito off, okay? Behind you, behind me, okay? Behind them. Um, if I say, let me see. Mm -hmm. I want to see. Ay, but I don't see your, your, your cameras. So, um, okay, let me see. <laughs> Alexandra, what do you have in your hand? In your hand, what do you have in your hand? In. Mm -hmm. Natasha. A cup of coffee, a cup of coffee, yeah? Okay, very well. Y así se dan cuenta ustedes cómo utilizamos in, on, at en diferentes contextos, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, so here we move to our next slide. Okay. We, let's see. There is and there are. Significa I. If I say there is a camera in front of me. Hay una cámara frente a mí. There is for singular. Okay. If I say, look at me. There is a cell phone in my hand. Hay un teléfono celular en mi mano. Yes? If I say, look at this. Ay. Mm. There are two agendas in my hands. Yes? Hay dos agendas en mis Manos. There are is for plural, pero el significado es el mismo. Entonces, depende del nombre o sustantivo al que hagamos referencia, utilizaremos there is or there are. So here we have there is singular, there are plural. For example, there is a cat, there is an orange. Escribimos an, se recuerdan con una n porque la siguiente palabra inicia with a vowel sound, con sonido de vocal. An avocado, there is an avocado on the table, yes? There is a person behind you, hay una persona detrás de ti. Um, there is a tall building next to my workplace, yes? Entonces, there is singular, now there are. There are three children in the garden. Tres niños, porque child, one. Children, dos, tres, cuatro. Okay, children is plural. There are some oranges in the basket. There are five tomatoes in the fridge. In the refrigerator, there are five tomatoes in the fridge or refrigerator. There are three bags of vegetables in the car. There are two bottles of milk mm -hmm, on the table. There are two tall buildings, okay, on that street, en aquella calle. Problemas sobre there is, there are. 
¿Dudas? No, todo claro. Perfecto, porque lo vamos a utilizar para describir nuestro, the location of our workplace, la ubicación de nuestro lugar de trabajo. Ok, so great, excellent that everything is clear. And now we go to the practice. And here we go to our manual. It is the time for you to shine again. Momento de brillar. Ahora ya vienen mejorados los mapas, ¿verdad? Yes. Con relieve y todo. Maqueta trae. Ahora. Excellent. Okay, here, if you notice, we were at page four yesterday. And we're here at number six, porque es parte del feedback, de la retroalimentación. Create your own map. Okay. Crearon ayer su propio mapa with your workplace or needs. Con el lugar de trabajo al que ustedes, ¿verdad? En el que ustedes actualmente laboran. And the places y los lugares or buildings and others that surround it. Tenían que el mapa con la ubicación de location of your workplace, de su lugar de trabajo. Y los edificios o lugares tiendas, negocios, escuelas, colegios, universidades, lo que hay acerca de eh, este puesto de trabajo, ¿sí? Y luego eh, lo tenían que mostrar, yo vi que lo mostraron y lo explicaron a sus compañeros, vi que Mario lo hizo en la, en la tablet, uh, Noé lo hizo mm, inspirado en Google Maps, ¿Verdad? Quiero ver qué otro recuerdo. Recuerdo el de Rosa. Y decía, es que no lo ven, es que no se entienden, pero, pero es por la cámara, decía Rosa, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, now create a role playing pairs explaining where you work, the locations, the street, city, etc. Y eh, lo, lo, lo presentaron en equipo, ¿verdad? Ahora vamos a continuar. Eso es como feedback para los chicos que ayer por alguna razón estuvieron ausentes. Fíjense bien. Ask some classmates where their workplace is located. Okay. Where is your workplace located? Um, the question is, acá se las escribo, ¿ok? Y ahí le van a describir en el mapa, ¿verdad? Where, where is your work um, place located? Where is your workplace located? This is the question you are going to ask. Y con el mapa van a explicar, pero ahora, ok, it is on... And you mention the name of the street or the avenue, okay? And you say, mm -mm, because it is not so clear. So you say, there is, for example, a tall building next to my workplace, yes? Or there is a store in front of, yeah? Y ahí van diciendo ustedes los lugares que están en los alrededores de su puesto de trabajo. There is or there are. There is a bus stop in front of. Yes? Y así sucesivamente. Sí? Está claro? Sí? Ok, muy bien. Entonces vamos a seguir trabajando con el mapa por el momento. Acá esta conversación todavía no, ¿verdad? Porque es... Luego la vamos a recrear. Solamente, where is your workplace located? And you use your map, the one that you created yesterday, and you describe the place, okay? In two or three sentences, and trying to use the different prepositions of place that we have been using. Tratando de utilizar las diferentes preposiciones del lugar que hemos estado eh, estudiando, ¿sí? Okay, here we go. We're going to move to the breakout rooms right now. Nos vamos a los diferentes equipos de trabajo, ¿ok? No. Vamos a pedirle que lo recree.
-hmm. Ok, perfecto. Cuatro, tres y tres. Si alguien más se une, esperemos que sí más tarde, ¿verdad? Eh, se los envío a sus equipos. So here we go. Go to your groups, please. And begin with the practice. Join to your groups. And begin with the practice. Okay. Roots. Hola, hola. Uh -huh. Hola, hola. Camaro sin cola. <ríe> Ay, miren qué linda. Alexandra ya tiene su mapa listo y sí se, le, sí se ve, se visualiza. Sí. Ajá. Y el mapa sí. de, de Eric. Eh, eh, es que no, 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 le, no le entendí del todo, pero lo hago rápido. Mire, este... mire, 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 en, en sí. AutoCAD lo hizo Alexandra. Ya vio, ¿verdad? <ríe> Excelente, amazing. Oh. Este, eh, eh, es, el, es el mapa para, para llegar al trabajo. O el, la ubicación, las digamos, es del... las instalaciones. Eh, está su lugar de trabajo, las calles que están alrededor, ¿verdad? Sobre la calle, la calle sobre la cual está su oficina, mm. tu edificio, el, donde trabaja. Y los lugares lugar de referencia. Un croquis de ubicación. Eso, cabal. Entonces comenzamos con Mario, ¿verdad? A uh, Alexandra tal vez le puede hacer. No, pero yo no le he hecho, lo voy a hacer entonces. Por eso, en lo que ellos practican, usted lo hace. Yo sé que with your eyes closed, ¿ok? A ojo cerrado lo hace Eric. Ah. Eso trabaja, en eso trabaja. Entonces, oh, Alexandra, you ask the question to Mario, and then Mario ask the question to Alexandra, y luego uno de ustedes oh. hace la pregunta, ¿verdad? Para darle tiempo a Eric que eh, dibuje el mapa, ¿ok? Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Mario, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Bajada de Venezuela. Venezuela en embasí. Venezuelan Embassy. Venezuela. Ajá. Uh -huh. Venezuelan. Sí, la embajada venezolana. Ok. Ah. Or the Embassy of Venezuela. Embassy of Venezuela. My workplace. Is in front of Venezuelan Embassy. Oh, wow, Carla Daniela. Mm. Amazing, I told mm. you. Of. <laughs> Le dije, mejorado. In front, in front of. Es lo más que puedo hacer. <laughs> oh, great, excellent. Uh -huh. Okay. It's on La uh, but, 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 but this is Boulevard, Boulevard, what? Ah, uh, uh, Orden de Malta. Or no? Orden de Malta Boulevard? No, it no. is in La Mascota, on La Mascota Street and the 79th Avenida. 79 Avenida. Sí, sí, pero acá el Boulevard este, ¿quién, qué, ¿cuál Boulevard es? Okay. Ese, ese es sí, mi, sí. era mi mapa, teacher. Ay, lo siento. Ay, perdón, no, está bien, pero acá como, ¿Cómo no, están como viendo no, el Julisa. Este es el de Este es el de este Carla de Daniela, Daniela, el que está, el de, el de Carla Daniela, pero acá me aparece, está viendo la pantalla de Carla Daniela. No se está oh, viendo su sí. mapa, Daniela. Pero me dice que la me pantalla dice, de ella está no, viendo, acá dice. Carla Daniela sí, Molina Cruz, sí, el de, de Carla. Es que no sé qué pasa. Yo veo la de Carla qué? Daniela, ¿sí? Es que mi pizarra tiene dos páginas, no sé si solo están viendo la primera, donde sí está el mapa de Julissa. Porque aquí lo estábamos ah. haciendo compartiendo mi, mi, bella, mi bella pizarra. Bueno, entonces ahí no sé qué, de quién no es esto. No sé qué está pasando. ¿Quién trabaja acá? ¿Quién trabaja en el grupo Monkey? Yulisa. Eh, Yulisa y. Yulisa. 
Entonces es, es la pantalla de, de Carla, pero con el mapa de, de Julissa. ¿Sí? Ajá. Vaya, entonces... ¿Por qué no lo ven? Porque como son dos <risa> páginas, estamos viendo el de Julissa. Entonces, Julissa, ¿cuál es este boulevard? Eh, orden de Malta. Ajá, Malta orden Boulevard. Malta. Ajá, Boulevard, Orden de Malta. El que se inundó antiero ayer. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, it flooded because of the rain. Ya. Yeah. Ok, so here you have to write the name of the boulevard. Orden de Malta Boulevard. Orden de Malta Boulevard. Ok. Ok. And you say next to. Uh, Grupo Monje, there is a San Nicolás Pharmacy next to Grupo Monje, yes? Next to es a la par de. No. Sí, sí, next to, por lo que se ve acá. And then, uh -huh. two. Okay. And there is also, or you may say, there is a, a Texaco gas station near, cerca de, near. Grupo Monje. Next okay. to, en frente, a la mm. par. Mm -hmm. okay. y, y al lado, teacher. Uh, next to, or beside. También. Ajá, sí, next or to. beside, next to. Ajá, or beside, oh. beside. Of, beside. No, beside, no. beside. Lo que sucede es que no lo puedo escribir en chat, se lo voy a escribir porque next como to. no puedo compartir mm -hmm. pantalla. Um, Okay, yes. next, next to, mm -hmm. a la par de, or beside, beside, los dos, a la par ne de, next to, or beside, okay. Oh, okay. Va, ellos se los envié next ahí, to, vía, beside. vía. Uh -huh. A la par de. Yeah, okay, bye, I need to go okay. over, truth group, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Mm, very nice. <laughs> okay, Abel. Let's see. Okay, describe using there is and there are. Uh, so you work, where do you, ah, uh, let me see. You work at mm, Almacenes Pacifico. Mm -hmm. But where do you work at Almacenes Pacifico? Yes. Yes. Ok, so, yes. ¿qué es lo que hay enfrente de? There is. ¿Qué es lo que hay Meaning frente al almacén? Out. ¿Qué es lo que hay frente al almacén en el Pacífico? Eh, Embassy Venezuela. Ok. Mm. Mm -hmm. En opposite. Opposite. En opposite. Taberna Restaurants. Mm -hmm. There is a restaurant opposite. Yes. There is a restaurant opposite uh, Almacén del Pacífico. Yes. Opposite there is Almacén del Pacífico. No. There is a restaurant. There is a restaurant opposite. Uh -huh. Almacén el Pacífico, ok. There is a opposite. No, there, no, 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 no. There is a restaurant. Le comparo. There is a restaurant. Sí, ah, okay. hay un restaurante. El orden de la uh -huh. palabra. Veamos. Let's see. There is a restaurant. Opposite, opposite, uh, almacén, is it almacén pacífico or almacén del pacífico? Almacén pacífico, right? Almacenes en plural. No, pero almacén es pacífico. Sí. Así se llama, almacén. Almacén es pacífico, ok. There is a restaurant opposite, okay, behind, next to, okay, and so on, okay. Okay. Now continue, please. 
Entonces, cuando... Ay, a Eric le está fallando el inter. Ok. ¿Qué link no tuvo ayer? Entonces lo va a hacer ahora. Ahorita. Sí, en lo que, en lo que Ruth, Ruth ya dijo sus oraciones. No ha, no ha comentado her location, su ubicación. <risa> The location of our workplace. Ah, vaya, perfecto. En eso eh, Kelly termina, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. Wow, miss. Let me see. I told you. 25th West Street. Laico. Okay, you may say Colonia Laico because that is the name, okay? Colonia Laico, West Street. Okay. House. And you work at Hope Families. So here you can say there is um, Biomel, yeah? There is Biomel Company next to Hope Families. Or you may say Hope Families is between Biomel and a house, and a house, y una casa, una casa familiar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a house in front of Hope Families, okay? Y así sucesivamente, ¿ok? Bye. Very bye. Good. Bye, bye. Uh, it's between Chinatown and government entity. Entidad, quiero decir, una entidad de gobierno, ¿cómo se dice, Miss? Ah, uh, pero ¿qué, qué go, eh, entidad de gobierno es? A government institution. No sé, solo sé que es del gobierno nada más. Y no tiene nombre. La oficina. Ya, Soy, ya hice no, mis para hacerles que nah. no, no presto atención. O sea, solo sé que es del gobierno nada más. Ok, that's Lo real. Siento. Muy ah, raro, qué raro, bastante raro. <risa> ok, ay, oh, yes, I did it. No, that is eh, not eh, what eh, you did. Eh, ok, eh, but, but, ok, describe it. <risa> vaya, pregúntele, Mari. Ya, ya hice el dibujito, vaya. <risa> Por eso está en dos devices. Paso. <risa> Vaya, eh, eh, es esta calle que ven. No, pero tiene que decirlo en inglés. There is, ok. No, hombre, And you, say, you say the yes, you say the name of the company. <laughs> eh, where do you work? The name of your company. El nombre de la compañía. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Uh, consorcio de Mazo. So, consorcio de Mazo is on, y dice el nombre de la calle, avenida, lo que sea. O el Boulevard. Con, con, consorcio de Mazo in. Is on. Uh, is on. Porque para mencionar is, que hay avenida Boulevard is, decimos on. Ok. Entonces, con, consorcio de Mazo on. Is eh, on. Calle, is on. Calle Antigua Quelepa. Que sería. Antigua Quelepa Street. Sí, que sería continuando esta, esta parte de acá. Okay. Por ahí hasta, hasta Telepa. Okay. Entonces, aquí salimos a, para San Miguel a un centro comercial que se llama El Encuentro. Okay. La, la there, 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 there is. Vaya, para, el para inter, decir, there, there is el Encuentro Mall near. Y menciona el nombre de su compañía. There is el Encuentro Mall Consorcio de Mazo. Ajá, near, near de Mazo. Near. Near the mass of. Okay, and then you continue. Bye. 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 <laughs> okay, yes, because you have to use the prepositions. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Pregúntele a Alexandra y Mario. Ask him, <laughs> porque hay que conocer. Okay. Miss, perdón. Ah, pregúntenle a la teacher. Yes. Tengo una duda. Ok, eh, tengo que en el boulevard del ejército 
no sé cómo ponerlo. El ejército Boulevard, del ejército Boulevard, because that is the name. Los héroes Boulevard, los Proces Boulevard, Sunset Boulevard, porque así se llama Sunset Boulevard in Miami. Yes. And here, uh -huh. del ejército Boulevard. Orden de Malta Boulevard. Mm -hmm. El ejército Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My work. Vaya, eh, my work is on the Malta Boulevard next to the bank. Cuscatlan Bank. Cusca, ah, okay, Cuscatlan Bank. Mm, and from there is uh, se dice residential teacher? Neighborhood. There is uh, a neighborhood. Okay. In from a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Así quedaría en mí. Okay, person. <laughs> So finished. Eh, okay, thank you. No, pues solo el de Mauricio falta. Okay. Uh, bueno, no sé si voy puede a compartir, la... puede compartir la pantalla si gusta. Es que estoy en la computadora haciendo. Por eso, por eso ahí vemos la computadora. Vaya, pero... Ay, mírenlo. Ok, wow. No se ve bien, creo. No sé si sí. lo vemos. Sí, sí, yes, Ah, es que sí. estoy tapando con el dedo. <risa> <risa> y esta okay. es la cámara de atrás, por lo que veo. Ok, where is your work located? Ah, ahí está. Ok. Ok. Así sería, ¿verdad? Sí, pero descríbalo. Ah, Porque la pregunta pero... es, where is your workplace located? Ah, ok. Perdón. Eh, trabajo en... I work ah. at... I work a grupo monje. Eh, next to eh, Cos Café. Eh, Coffee Cos Café. Uh -huh. uh, no sé cómo decir al otro del lado de la carretera. Across from. Across from a eh, maxi despensa. There is a maxi despensa across from uh, Grupo Monte. Ay. Mm. <laughs> there is. There is. There is a. They ir a. They is a. Maxi despensa. Maxi despensa. Across from? Across from? Grupo, Grupo Monge. Monge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only that. <laughs> yes? Yes. Only with the smelling, solo con el yeah. olor. He is activated. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Okay, very well. Let's get back then to the main session room, okay? Because now you are going to construct a conversation, but based on the example, pero basándonos en el ejemplo, okay? Here we go. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, I need your cameras on because I'm going to take your attendance, okay? Your first attendance. Okay. 
Mario's group and Eric's group is still, but they are coming. Okay, class, I need you to activate your cameras because I'm going to take your attendance. Okay, here we go. Abel. Present. Thank you, sir. Alexandra Michel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Eric, Enrique. Present teacher. Uh, Eric Fernando is absent. Eric Ismael is absent. Griselda is absent today. I don't know what happened to her. Okay. Jocelyn. Jocelyn is absent. Jose Mauricio. Present. Okay. Julissa. Present. Thank you. Carla Daniela. Present. Thank you, Miss. Kelly. Present. Thank you. Mario Eduardo. Present. Noé Vladimir. Present. Great, thank you. Rose is absent at the moment. Ruth. Present. Okay, great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Congratulations on your performance, describing the location of your workplace and on your creativity, okay? Of your maps, they were great. Creativity in progress. And now let's continue. Very well done. Now look at this, okay. I'm going to eliminate this because this is what we did before. And right now here, listen to your teacher with the conversation, then practice with a partner. Hello, we have Will and Tanya, two participants. This is at page 41. So, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Yeah. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Se recuerdan which, cuando hay un, um, una limitada opción. Which one do you need? Porque ella le dice, don't worry, there are four buildings. No se preocupe, hay cuatro edificios. Which one do you need? A girl? told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it, it's down the street on the left side, on the left side, al lado izquierdo, on the left side, es decir, on the right side, a la derecha, on the left side, a la izquierda, okay? Uh, thanks, I have to ask you something else. Thanks, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Is there a training center? Fíjense cómo, cómo ubicamos acá la pregunta. En la oración simple, there is, there are, blah, blah. Pero en la pregunta, cambiamos el verbo. Is there a training center? Hay un centro de capacitación. Is there a training center? And she answers, Tania answers. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Hay muchos centros de capacitación sobre on the building, 
eh, en el edificio sobre la calle principal y la calle King. Main Street es la calle principal, ¿ok? Main Street, calle principal. I have some interviews there. Tengo algunas entrevistas allí o allá. Thank you again. Gracias nuevamente. Bye, bye. One more time. Hello. Can you help me? Where is Melbourne Building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? ¿Cuál necesita? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Main Street, principal. Okay. Main Street. Okay. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews. You may say interviews or interviews. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Now I need two participants in order to read this conversation to practice before you go to the breakout rooms, okay? Okay. Volunteers? Only two? Okay. Hi, teacher. Okay. Abel is going to read Will. Who is going to read Tanya? Do I have a girl in the class? I can do it. Okay, please, miss. You're going to read Tanya. Let's begin, Abel. Okay. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the... Mabel building. I don't lie here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a, is there a, is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Okay, listen. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? El edificio Melbourne. I don't live here, live. Live es vivir. Live es un show en vivo. Live, los en vivo que hacen en las redes sociales, esos son live. Este es live, vivir, okay? Live. Then don't worry, there are four buildings. Buildings, forget about you. Se olvidan de la letra U porque it is voiceless. You don't pronounce you. Buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building, building on Main Street. I know it, it's down the street on the left side. Thanks, I have to ask you something else. Something else, algo más. Something algo else más. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews. There. Thank you. Again. Bye bye. Van a practicar esta conversación y van a intercambiar roles. ¿De acuerdo? Y van a contestar estas preguntas en relación a la conversación. ¿Okay? Primero a practicar la conversación. Pero hay quienes primero a contestar las preguntas. No, primero la práctica, porque entre más lo practiquen, más se les facilita el contestar las preguntas. ¿Ok? ¿Is it clear? ¿Estamos claros que vamos a practicar la conversation? Bien, yes, tiene sure. que practicarla tantas veces como sea posible, porque luego vamos a tener acá algunos voluntarios en el main session room. So here, remember, leave. I don't live here. 
there are four buildings. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. And I think that is something else, something, not some time, no, something else, something else. Now let's move to the um, breakout rooms and let's practice the conversation. Here we go, porque luego van a crear su conversación. Okay, here we go. Join your groups, please, and begin the speaking practice and answering the comprehension questions. Join your groups and answer the comprehension questions. Julissa, please. Julie, if it is possible, go to group number one. Julissa. Thank you, Miss. Quienes comenzamos entonces. Okay. Okay. Recuerden luego switch roles, okay? Okay. And to me, go to the building on Main Street. I no. It is down the street on the left on side. The left. On the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else in the training center. There are a lot of trading centers on the building. ¿Cómo se pronuncia es la siguiente palabra? View. Interview. Interviews. Interviews. Uh -huh. I have uh, some uh, interviews. Okay. Interview there. Interview there. Tú vas aquí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, ah between. <laughs> okay, there are a lot of training centers on the building between main street. Main and King Street. Between Main mm -hmm. and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. <clears throat> Remember, people, building. 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 La U. Is voiceless, no suena la U. Building. Mm -hmm. building. 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 There are, no, they are. There are, porque they are, ellos son, ellos están. Mm -hmm. Pero acá, there are, hay. There are some are. buildings. There, there. Uh -huh. there are a lot of training centers. Hay muchos centros de capacitación. There are a lot of. Mm -hmm. Okay, con, okay uh, continue with the practice. Okay. Okay. Ahora yo soy Will. Yo voy a ser Tammy. Okay. Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is the below? ¿Cómo es el below building? I don't Mel Melbourne Melbourne building Melbourne Melbourne, Melbourne. 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 building I don't 
live here. Oh, yes, I don't live here. I don't live here. Don't worry. There, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on May Street. I know. It, it's down the street on the left side. 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 The left side. Okay, thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center of training center of the on the building between May and King Street. I have some interview views there. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Between, remember, between, between. okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Between. between, between, yeah. Okay, and now, yeah. Kelly and Anne, ¿con quién va a practicar With. Kelly? With Abel. Con Abel. <laughs> okay, Kelly, get ready, Kelly. Kelly es Will y Abel están. Sí. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pero como ahí no, no menciona el nombre, ¿verdad? No problem. No problem. Okay. Hello, Tania Mar. Okay. Hello, Abel, you can say. Uh -huh. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live there. Here. Here. Okay, don't worry. There are there are four buildings. Which one do you need? I hear told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it is down the street on the left side. Thanks. Um, how to ask Joe submitting else is their uh, trading center? There are a lot of training center on the building between May and King Street. I have some, some inters interviews. Interviews? There, thank you. I again, bye bye. Okay, um, Kelly, please repeat after me. I have to ask you. I have to ask you something else. Something else. Repeat after me. I have to ask you something else. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Is there a training center? Okay, I have some interviews. I have some interviews. Interviews. There. Interview there. Thank you again. Thank, Thank you again. Okay, uh, repeat after me, Kelly. There are a lot of... They are a no, lot they, of... They know, there are. There are. A lot of... A lot of... Training centers. Training centers. On the building. On the building. Between... Between... Main, Main, and King Street. And King Street. Okay, very well. And remember, uh, I don't live here. I don't live here. Okay, 
live I don't live here. Live here. Okay, I very well. I don't live here. Yeah. I don't live here. Now go over and answer the three questions, three or four questions, okay? Don't live here. See okay. you. See you, teacher. See you. How to raise, ask you, uh, something else. Something else. No, repeat after me. Something else. Repeat after me, Eric. Something else. Some, some, something else. Mm -hmm. Something else. Something uh -huh. else. Something else. <laughs> Is there? Uh, is there is there is a there training center a training center yo escuché que usted pronunciaba center pues sí así pero para es? que se le dificulta mucho a training center Ajá. porque así lo van a escuchar ustedes en la película verdad a ah, training center sí. o cuando hable ahí eh, a Mr. Biden sí. we're going to build some training centers for young people bla 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 okay Entonces, training centers, dicen ellos. Pero puede decir training center, American pronunciation, training center, British pronunciation. Okay, both are acceptable. Brain, a training center or training center, both are acceptable. I'm sorry, continue, please. Vaya, y el, el, donde dice ask you, ¿cómo se pronuncia solo la A, la S y la K? Ask. 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 Las tres letras te pronuncian. Ask. 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 Uy, ya no puedo. <risa> es un sonido Ask. explosivo, la K. Ask. La K. Ask. De K. Como. Ask. 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 A la palabra ask. Bueno. Quítele, eh, mire, a la palabra ask. <risa> quítele Ask. la letra O. Oh. Ask. 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 Uh -huh. Ask. Más o menos. Okay, Ask. very well. Um, <laughs> okay, no, pero la O no la pronuncio, ¿verdad? So, ask. That's it. Um, ask. <laughs> okay, did, the three, did all of you practice, guys? The conversation? Yes. Uh, now, go over exercise number three. You have to answer the questions, okay? Based on this information. Okay, based on this information, I need you to answer these three questions, okay? Uh, how many Melbourne buildings are there? There are, blah, blah, blah. Where is the building where Will wants to go located? It is on, y ahí dice en la dirección, la calle. Uh, how many training centers are there? Where are they? <coughs> Son dos en una, en number three. How many training centers are there and where are they? Y donde están ellos ubicados, okay? So, continue working because I need to monitor the other groups, okay? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Ya le tomaron Octubre. Sí, es cringe, ya es todo. ¿Quieres que practicamos otra vez? Ok. Mauricio, ¿qué primero? Vaya. Eh, hello, can you help me? Where is the. Eh, el, ay, se me olvida. Melbourne. Melbourne. Eh, buildings. I don't like here. Live. Live here. Perdón. Coro, <laughs> no, don't worry. There are four buildings. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? I heard uh, told me to go the uh, to pardon the uh, building on May Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. 
tense. I hate to ask you something else. Is there a, a cheering center? Training, training center. Training, training. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of training centers for the building between name and things. I had some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Hello, can you help me? Where is the noble building? I don't live here. Don't uh, worry, worry. There are four uh, buildings. Which one do you need? I first told you to go to the building on Main Street. I know it is a uh, down uh, the street on the left side. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of uh, tennis training center on the building between May and King Street. Have some <coughs> again. Bye -bye. Okay, okay, finish. Yes. Yes. Finish. Yes. Let's get back to the main session room so we can practice. Okay, but we need to answer and standardize the, the answers to the question. Vamos a estandarizar las respuestas a las preguntas. Okay. Thank you for your active participation. Okay. Let's wait for the partners. They are still practicing the conversation. Miss Griselda, welcome. Just joining and then we have to come back to the main session room. Okay, thank you Griselda for being here. Okay, class, get ready with the answers to the questions, okay? Here we go, let's see. Class, how many Melbourne buildings are there? How many buildings? Four buildings. There are, there are two buildings. Griselda, we are working at page 41. There are uh, four, buildings. four buildings, only that, right? Four or two. Let me see, you told me two. Uh, let me see. A girl told me there are two main street. Oh, yes. I have to. Uh, there are a lot of training centers. Um, hello, can you have? There are four buildings. Don't worry. There are um, Melbourne buildings. There are four, not two. There are four. Yeah. There are four. Now for the question: Where is the building? Where will where will wants to go located? It is where is it? Tell me the location. It is on. It is on. On Main Street. 
It is on Main Street. It is on Main Street. Now, number three, the first part for number three, because here we have two in one. How many training centers are there? There are? There are? A lot. A lot of, a lot of training, training centers. Okay. And where are they? Donde están ubicados? They are? Donde están ubicados? Los training centers. Hello class, somebody to Be tell the answer. They, they are in May between. They are between. Between May and King Street. And King Street. Okay. Entre la calle y la otra calle. O between entre una calle y una avenida. Now listen, we have here a lot of. When we say a lot of equals, uh, if you were saying, let me see where is it. It is as if you were saying, there are many. Hay muchos, okay? Es para plural, a lot of. There are many. There are a lot of, there are many, hay muchos. Es para plural, okay? Many, plural. Lo que se puede contar, a lot of. Okay, and what else? Let me see. Okay, and that's it. <clears throat> Comments or any suggestion for the answers or they are okay? Are they okay? Yes? Okay, great. Now listen class, listen to the teacher. Okay, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to diminish this. Uh, here, hello, can you help me? Okay, listen. Um, Mario, where are you? Mario, are you here? Okay, if I say, uh, hello, can you help me? Where is the Torre Futura building? I don't live here. I don't know, teacher. Torre Futura. On the street. Okay, I, listen, I you, you, listen, you have to tell me, don't worry, there is one <laughs> building. Hay un edificio o dos edificios en Torre Futura. Hay varios, pero no sé. No, Torre Futura, solo un edificio dentro only de, one. ¿verdad? Only one, solo una Torre Futura. Dentro hay oh, dos, pero, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, two, right. One and the other, yeah. And then, uh, don't worry, there is one building, okay? Uh, or you may say there are two buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on, uh, that is, um, let me see, on 11th, on 11th, uh, East Street, East Street, porque es la calle Poniente. And then, I know it, it's down the street on the left side, or you may say on the right side. La idea es cambiar el nombre del edificio, cuántos edificios tiene, sí, y ya no vamos a decir left, porque acá lo tienen y ya saben que es a la izquierda. Ahora vamos a tratar de utilizar on the, on the right, ¿ok? A la derecha, on the right, para que practiquen vocabulary, ¿ya? Yeah? On the right side. Thanks, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Ah, 
Oh, there are a lot of training centers on the building between. Y ahí ubican, cambian ustedes la calle, porque esta sería Main, la calle principal. King, la calle Rey. Ustedes cambian los nombres de las calles. Okay, use your imagination. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, vamos a cambiar el nombre del building. ¿Cuántos hay? You use your imagination. Probably it can be correct or not, pero la idea es practicar. Okay. And then you change the name of the street and you don't say on the left side, you say on the right side. Okay. Is it clear? And then you practice and switch roles. Okay. You're going to have 10 minutes to do this activity. 10 minutos porque es poco lo que van a, a, a modificar y ya practicar. Okay, and remember, I don't live here, live, not live, I don't live. There are a lot of training centers. I have to ask, ask, k, la letra K, 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 k ask you something, something else. I have to ask you something else. I have to ask you something else. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? And so on, okay? Um, shall we? Yeah? Shall we? No. Shall we go to the breakout rooms? Yes? Okay, um, Griselda, if you want to take a, a screenshot of this uh, information, okay, feel free to do it. Si quiere tomarle una, una, una captura, feel free to do it, okay? Ese sí, lo, sí ya lo, lo escribí. Ah, no problem. Okay, great. Okay. Then let's move to the breakout rooms. And here we go. Remember, practice makes perfect. I'm opening the breakout rooms. Okay. Join your groups, class. Join your groups and practice as much as possible. Practiquen lo más posible. Okay. Hi, Abel. Abel, are you frozen? No, that's okay. Ah, la de Millennium. Ah, era. Ajá. The one that was, was cancelled. <laughs> yeah, but you use it. You use it. Yeah, use your imagination. Yeah, creativity. The idea is to practice. Okay. Millennium. Millennium. With millennium, building. millennium building. Ex millennium building. No millennium because the building, the building, the building, no, the building is there. The building is there. El edificio está ahí. Almost uh -huh. millennium building. Solo se estrenaron y ya estaban cancelados. Okay, no comments. You got the idea. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Ay, no. <laughs> Va entonces el milenio y, y el mismo edificio está nombrando en dos equipos ya. Very ah, fake. Pues no. no, continue, continue, because you're going to have a different point of view, okay? Bye. No. <risa> 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 Pero si queremos ocupar el on the right, tiene que ser de galerías para abajo. On the right. It depends on, right. on your perspective. Bueno, ¿y, ¿y cuál edificio están pensando por casualidad? El de Salvador del Mundo, los, eh, este, los que están ahí. Sí, Salvador el Salvador. Del, pero Salvador del Mundo es la plaza. Uh -huh. El edicio. Aquí vamos a hablar del call center teacher. 
de Ajá, los cuales ah, bueno. están okay, ahí. Ok, ok, Hay tres, Ajá. creo, bueno, no sé, como dos, dos o tres. Sí. Yes, ok, very well. Y si podemos utilizar el, el a mano. Oh, yes, center, yeah, to the right, to the left, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok, great. <laughs> Begin. Si usamos, el de, si usamos el de concentric viniendo de galería, sí sería buscando Ajá. la Roosevelt y la 63 Avenida Sur. Tú lo tienes, tú lo tienes ahí, Griselda. Para que lo vean. No veo. Voy a poner. <ríe> like. How do we say Paseo Escalón? The Blows. That is the name of the street. Ese es el nombre de la calle. Un paseo Entonces, general paseo, escalón. Paseo, paseo general, general, general escalón. escalón. Yes. Sí. Yes, because in Google Maps they are going to find Paseo General Escalón. Even American people or British people, okay, Canadian people, Australian people. That is the name of the of the of the street. No, on Paseo General Escalón because only it that. doesn't have uh -huh, it doesn't have the name of a street or avenue. It is only Paseo General Escalón. Como yeah. Paseo del Carmen, como el de Santa Tecla. Así Probably yes. <laughs> We go to the building on Paseo General Escalón. Down Street on the right side. I have to ask you something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I get the right side? Can I get you? Yo. Uh, con Will. Yo empiezo con Will. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Millennium Building? I don't live here. No sé cómo es la la cómo se llama la calle de porque él está diciendo que entre May y King. Uh -huh. Y si ahí hay dos calles en la en la en la fila de esta vez. Ok, ahí hay dos. La general escalón y la otra. La que va para el Salvador del Mundo. Uh -huh. Y la que está yendo para el tabernáculo. Uh -huh. Cada rato uh -huh. paso por ahí cuando voy a Walmart. No me puedo no. Yo porque no me puedo a las calles y ahí viajo todos los días. Hoy no voy a fijarme. Pero, pero sería. Uh -huh. Entonces le dice que son cuatro. Y ahí son tres, creo, los que están. Así lo. Uh -huh. está, con, está concentric, está no sé sí. cómo se llama el otro. Pero son como tres call performance. Ah, está Teleperformance, Tele Concentrix y no sé cuál es el otro. ¿Qué pasa? You can claro. mention only two. You can mention only two, no oh, problem. Okay. Yes, no problem. Don't worry. There are two okay. buildings. Uh -huh. Don't worry. There are two, two buildings. Buildings. Uh, buildings. That's correct. 
building what what do Which you need? Which one do you need? Do you need to? Do you need a boy? <laughs> A girl told me to, to go with that. Yeah, or, or you may say a boy instead of a girl. A boy told me to go to the building on Alameda Roosevelt Street. No. ¿Cómo sería? No. Yeah. Alameda, Alameda Roosevelt. Alameda Roosevelt. Hasta ahí. Ajá, Alameda Roosevelt. Sí. Eh. A boy oh, told yeah. me to go to the building on Alameda Roosevelt. I know. Which one do you need? Can you get it? A ver, está bien así, teacher. Vamos bien. Uh, where is the Plaza Millennium Building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Cuatro edificios ahí en la Plaza Millennium. ¿Sí? No. Or there are two. Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh. there are two buildings. Which one do you need? A boy or a girl told me to go to the building on Paseo General Escalón. No, street no, porque no decimos la calle Paseo General Escalón. No, Paseo General Escalón. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I know it. It's down the street on the right side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Paseo General Escalón and Olympica Avenue. Okay, I have some interviews there. Thank you again, bye. Yes, now you practice. Correct. Solamente aquí, Solo the chain for a building. Yeah, there are two buildings. Okay. Buildings, buildings, buildings. Yeah, buildings. Two buildings. Mm -hmm. To change it, okay? Mm -hmm. And begin practicing, okay? Y comiencen okay. a practicar. Okay. Apuesta tú, Will. A ver, Will. <laughs> okay, my name is Will. <laughs> Hello, can you help me? Where is the Plaza Millennium? Hello, Mer. On the right side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers of the building between Paseo General Escalón and Olympic Avenue. I I hear I has I hear I pardon I. ¿Cómo se dice? I have, I have to I ask have, you. I had some some interviews. So, in a views there, thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, you say bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now, ya terminaron. Yes, todos practicaron yeah. y switch roles. Yes, okay, very well. Um, Jose Mauricio, please repeat after me. I have. I have some tan, some stan, no, tan. some no some some, some. Ah, okay some. interviews 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 there 
interview. The interviews there. Interviews there. Okay. Repeat after me, Jose Mauricio. I have to ask you. I have to ask you. Something else. Tolstien. No. Listen. Something. 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 No. Something. No. Something. 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 Else. 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 Something else. Something else. Okay, thank you so much. Very well. Great. Excellent. And Noe, you are going to be Will and I'm going to be Tanya. You begin. Okay. Hello. Uh-huh. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Millennium Building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are two buildings. Which one do you need? I girl told me to go to the building on Paseo General Escalón. I know it. It's down the street on the right side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building uh, between Paseo General Escalón and Olympic Avenue. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Okay, very well. Pretty good. Excellent. And I think that, okay, Carla Daniela. Okay, did it very well with you, class. Okay, now it is time to get back to the main session room. And here we go, okay? Thank you for your active participation. Okay. Okay. Me salí de la clase. ¿Me puede unir al grupo, por favor? No. Uy, I'm so terminé. sorry. I'm so okay. sorry, miss. <laughs> Because we are in the main session room. Estamos de regreso en el salón principal. Ah, ok. Pues sí. ¿Y qué le pasó? ¿Tuvo problema? Con la conexión. Ah, mire, nosotros felices de escucharla. Si tuviera activado el micrófono, le escucharíamos a la perfección, Alex. Lo que sucede es que el, este, puse la cámara para que Eric pudiese ver lo, lo del libro, porque él se había quedado. Y uh -huh. le di para atrás y me sacó de la clase. Well, so sorry. Pero cuando le digo, me dice, me puede unir de regreso al grupo porque me salí. No, I'm so sorry. Oh, bye. <laughs> ya estamos de regreso. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. okay, listen, activate your cameras because I'm going to take your second attendance. Abel, Abel, present. Thank you. Present, teacher. Great. Alexandra. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Eric Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Eric Fernando today is absent. Eric Ismael today is absent. absent. Griselda <laughs> del Carmen. Griselda del Carmen Cerón García. Over <laughs> here. Yeah, excellent. And now let's see. Jose Mauricio. Jose Mauricio. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Excellent. Julissa. Present. Julis, thank you. Julissa, Carla Daniela. Present. Great. Um, Kelly. Present. Thank you, Miss. Mario. Present. Edward, Mario Eduardo. Noé. Present. Noé. Okay, thank you. Rose is absent. And Ruth. Ruth? Present. Okay, great. Excellent. Now listen, class. Congratulations because you did it, okay? And there is and there are, there is no problem for you, I think. 
So now we continue with our manual. And we scroll, scroll, scroll in here, okay? How to use there is and there are plus quantifiers. Malo quantificadores. There is, as I told you, is for singular. There are is for plural. Examples, there is an ATM across the street. Across the street, across. Okay, I am here across the street. It is on the other sidewalk, in la otra acera, okay? ATM, you know, automatic teller machine, yes? ATM, automatic teller machine. Cajero automatic, automatic teller machine. And then across the street, there is a recruitment center on the corner of, in la esquina de, Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, in esa esquina, okay? Recruitment, centro de reclutamiento. Uh, there's no clothing factory around the corner. No hay fábrica de ropa, okay, around the corner. Alrededor de la esquina, no. Now, this is negative. There is no. You, the contracted form, there's no. Now, the plural. There are a lot of companies down the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. Hay algunos supermercados a la derecha y a la izquierda de la calle. Okay. There are no hospital, hospitals on various streets. There are no hospitals on various streets. Acá tienen la forma contractada, la forma corta. There is no. There's no. But for plural, there are no. Si se fijan, no. Y lo que le sigue es un nombre o sustantivo. There aren't hospitals. There are no hospitals. Está correcto. También. Now, complete the exercises with there is or there are in a quantifier from number one to number six, but we have here as a mistake because they are human beings, number two, okay? Two and two, but it is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's do the first one as an example. We have marketing presentation across the street in the morning. What are you going to say? There is or there are? Marketing presentation. There is. There, there is, is. If it is singular, what are we going to say? There is. There is, there is a. Or there are some. Or there are a lot of. A. There, there is um, a because it is singular. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Entonces, tienen que visualizar si el nombre o sustantivo va en plural, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces ustedes escriben a uh, some, ok, or a, y si la siguiente palabra es en singular, pero inicia con vowel sound, entonces an, ok. Let's do it and later we're going to double check, ok. So let's focus and let's complete. Work on the completion of these sentences. When you finish, you let me know. You tell me, finish, I'm done.
Are you done? Yes? Finished. Yes, okay. Uh, let's double check. In number one, there is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Tell me, in number two, what do you have? There are some. There are some business workshops down the street. Very well, because you have some over here. Now, number three. Recruitment There's centers. No. no, because centers. There's there no. There are there no. Are no. There are no. There, there are no because it is plural. Centers, centers. So there are no recruitment centers around my building. And then in number four, store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. No. A store is there it is. singular or plural? Singular. Store. Store. There's there is there's no. Or there is there. no. If you write this is the short form, but you may say also there is no. Okay. This is the short form, there's no, and the full form, there mm -hmm. is no, okay? There is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Now, number five, banks they, behind the factory. They there, are. There, there, there are, okay, some, there are some, some banks, behind the factory I work. In the last one, Aranza building around the corner. There is an. Excellent, an. There is an Aranza building around mm -hmm. the corner, okay? And here you have to practice this short conversation. Tell me, where do you work? I work in Almacén, Almacén Pacifico. Where is it? It is, and you say the name of the street. It is on blah, blah. And you, where do you work? Well, I work in, and you, the other person, the other participant says the name of the place. Well, I work in Premium Center. Oh, really? Where is it? Okay, y ahí continúa la conversación. Now you're going to practice this short conversation about the places where you work, okay? You're going to have seven minutes in order to do this, yes? Okay, here we go. And we move to the breakout rooms, okay? Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms. Mario. Mario, usted estaba trabajando con Eric y con Alexandra, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Yes. Ok. Group number three. Thank you. Mario, Alexandra, Griselda y Eric. Yes. Ok, Miss Kelly, please join group number two with Abel and Ruth. Where do you work? It is orally. Ya, ya saben en el lugar donde trabajan, entonces no tienen que estar escribiendo, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Ok. Y ahí termina. termina. No, usted me tiene que preguntar dónde está. Uh -huh. ah, where, is, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Una pregunta. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. It's on la mascota street in front of the Venezuelan embassy. Okay. Consorcio de más. Oh, ahí está. Consorcio. El otro que es where, where is it? 
consorcio es, de más. Oh. Es que alguien vaya, vos decís dónde trabajas y alguien te dice dónde es eso o dónde queda eso o dónde está eso. Y decís ah, la dirección. La dirección que, que, que escribimos hace rato, ¿verdad? De tu trabajo. Ajá, la, la de hace un rato que, que te explicaba sobre Street. Antigua, no sé qué es Street. Ajá, es, sería Consorcio de Más O. Es on Antigua Quelepa Street. Ajá, entonces en vez de decir, cuando te preguntan, ¿qué es it? Vos decís, it is Antigua. It is on. It It is, it is some. Ah, sí, porque es sobre calle. Ahí se lo pido yo. And you, where do you work? Pero ya me contesté. Se nos fue Kelly. <laughs> Teacher, and B, it is a uh, address. Well. Porque le pregunta, it is on, y dice el lugar, en you, where do you work? ¿Y tú dónde trabajas? Well, bien, I work, y menciona, I work in, y menciona el nombre del lugar. Luego le hace la pregunta a Ruth, where is it? Where is it? ¿Dónde queda? Y usted le dice la dirección. Ah, ok. Ah, pues sí, estaba muy bien. Ya. Yeah. <risa> ok. Tell me, where do you work? I work in Foundation of Four Families. Where is, where is it? It is uh, 25. When it is on 25th. 25th. 25. Uh -huh. It is 25th. Uh, well, street. West Street. West Street. Mm -hmm. And you, where do you work? Well, I work in Almacenes Pacifico. Mm -hmm. where, where? I, I, where is it? It is. Um, On the strip, la mascota, uh -huh. number 320. Okay, great, very well, excellent. Congratulations. And okay. if I say, um, Ruth, tell me, where do you work? I work in Foundation. For family. Where is it? Twenty-five. Uh, it is on twenty-fifth. It, it is twenty-fifth. Twenty-fifth. West Street. Street. Okay, and you, where do you work? And you. <laughs> where do you work? Okay, now listen. Repeat after me. Where is it? Is it back together? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Excellent, Where is it? very well. Van unidas las dos palabras. Is it? Where is it? Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, mm -hmm. great, very well. Now let's get back to the main okay. session room. Okay, thank you. Very well. Congratulations. Ya ven thank poco you. a poco, verdad? Poco a poco, vamos. Okay. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you are. Very well. Mm, let's wait for the other participants. They are still practicing. I have to do oops.
Okay, one group is still working in the practice, but they are coming back. Here we go. Okay, class, listen, what did we practice today? What did we practice today in class? Directions. Addresses, directions, and locations. Yes? Did you practice speaking? Yes. Did you yes. practice reading? Yes. yes. Did you practice writing? Yes. yes. Did you yes. listen to your partners? Yes. 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 Okay, and the new structure for today was? ¿Cuál fue la estructura nueva de este día? There is. There, there is, are. there are. Excellent, there very well. Are. Okay, class. Uh, Eric Enrique Vasquez, I need you to do me a favor, please. Necesito me hago un favor. Ese puede quedar conmigo un ratito después de clase. Sí. No va a ser mucho, 10 minutos lo más. Ok. So, thank you very much. <laughs> yes. And the everybody laughing. Ok. Uh, sleep well. Remember, try to continue working in the platform. Ok. With the homework and with the final test. Uh, thank you for joining. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Sleep well. Ok. Dream with the angels. Sueñen con angelitos. So see you tomorrow, okay? Only Eric Enrique stays with me. Bye bye. Blessings. Bye. See you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night. Okay. Um, ya vamos, vamos, eh, voy a um, un poquitito de lo que vimos ayer y vamos sí. a practicar pronunciación, okay? Bye. En la conversación. Sí, sí, sí. Acá vamos. Bien, ayer estábamos hablando de on y en at. On sí. lo utilizamos para mencionar las calles o avenidas. Por ejemplo, on Fourth Avenue, sobre la cuarta avenida. On the corner, en la esquina. On the street, en, en la, la calle. En español solo tenemos en, pero el contexto nos ubica, ¿verdad? Pero acá uh -huh. tenemos tres en inglés. In El Salvador quiere decir dentro del territorio salvadoreño, en El Salvador. Where do you live? In San Salvador. Okay. Dentro de esa área de San Salvador. In sí. the park, in the neighborhood, el vecindario, okay. uh, la colonia o comunidad. Uh -huh. at, at the meeting room, en la sala de reuniones. At work, at the bank. Locations. Es, Trabajamos eh, eh, esto. On, on es para calles. Okay, y avenidas. Avenidas. Okay, pero cuando mencionamos las calles no decimos eh, calle 1. No decimos first street. Second street. Lo, primera, segunda, tercera calle. Igual que las avenidas. Ajá. On fourth avenue. On 25th avenue. Sobre la vigésima quinta, no decimos la 25 avenida, decimos 25, aunque la escribamos el 25, ¿de acuerdo? Ajá. Bien, completamos estas, eh, con estas preposiciones, poniendo en práctica esta información que está acá, completamos estas oraciones, from number one to number six, ¿de acuerdo? Ahí, ahí solo de ir poniendo el si sí. es on, in, o at. Sí, Entonces, de acuerdo, la, la de acuerdo. Es... Uh -huh. La primera dice, I work in the bank that is uh -huh. on First Avenue. Excellent. First Avenue and Barrios Street on. Very well. And what about number two? Vaya. En la segunda dice, their factory is located. La libertad. Aquí está hablando dentro de. Uh -huh. Ajá. De, este, es de este departamento. In. Excellent. In. Very well. In la language. tercera dice, we, we see you, training room, ajá, uh -huh, in the cafeteria. Aquí está hablando de dentro de la, una sala de reuniones, pero en este caso dentro de la cafetería, aquí es at. Ok, ¿en cuál sería at? En la tercera. No, sí, en la tercera, pero ¿en cuál espacio? ¿En el primero o en el segundo? Ah... Porque ahí hay dos espacios. Sí, es cierto, en el segundo, en el segundo. No, sería we see you at. 
training training room mm. or uh -huh, room or at the cafeteria en la en las dos es la misma verdad mm -hmm. uh -huh, yes, vale. la cuarta es Ana work in in the company that is Uh -huh. Anna, Anna work in the company that is in on aquí or está, aquí está hablando ajá, aquí está hablando de la ubicación aquí es on ¿verdad? Uh -huh. el ajá. pueblo no porque no decimos sobre el pueblo ah. ¿cuál es la que vamos a utilizar? no puede ser on es in in very well uh -huh. La, y la, la, la número cinco, eh, my relative uh -huh. go to the mall, that it's uh -huh. Roosevelt, uh, on Roosevelt Street. Es Excellent, on. on Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt, Roosevelt Street. Uh -huh. right. De ahí la número seis es tell, tell, ¿cómo se pronuncia la siguiente palabra? Him. Tell him, tell him. Uh -huh. Tell him that we are, we are, we are, esta es in. No, ya la tiene, at the meeting room. Acá no tiene que escribir nada porque por error ya la escribieron ellos. At the meeting Cierto. room. Ajá, mm -hmm. pare, 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 como que... Ajá. Pareciera como que lo que falta ahí es otra, otra palabra nada más para sí, completar. No, ya está a temir en rojo. Muy bien. Ok, vaya, ahora vamos a practicar esto. ¿Ya? La escucha sí. una vez, la conversación. The conversation at page 41. Hello, can you help me? Vaya. Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it, I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay. Now. Bye. Okay. Bye. You. Hello. Can you can can you hear me? Where is the Melbourne? No sé si, si le pronuncio. Melbourne. Bien. Melbourne. Uh, voy a empezar. Hello, can you hear me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't like here. Live, uh, live. No, la última fue que pronuncié here. Yes, I don't live, I don't live here. I don't live here. Mm -hmm. Así? Yes, correct. I don't live here. Mm -hmm. right. uh, don't, don't worry. Don't uh, worry. There are there there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A uh, girl told me to go to the building in on oh. my street. Excellent. On my street. But they, you know, I know it is don't the street on the left así es verdad no, on, the left left, side. Left. Left. on the left side on the left on the left side by the way la otra es ten i have to ask 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 <laughs> algo así verdad es así me cuesta ask you something else something else something else ah, así es cierto son something something else se escucha como que si le dijera something, pero es something, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Son, something else. Is there a train center? Is there a train center? 
There are a lot of train center centers on the buildings between my a key street. I have so interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, no, repeat no, after no, me. No, sí. Interviews, interviews, ah. interviews. Interviews. Hey, congratulations. Ajá, uh -huh, pretty good. <laughs> Bastante si bien. Ajá. Uh -huh. La repetimos todos si quieres. Okay, say it again, say it again. Vaya, la que me cuesta un poquito es la, la de Melbourne. Melbourne la... Building. Melbourne. 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 Repeat after me. Melbourne. Right. Melbourne. 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 Recuérdese de la supremacía born, ya, la película. Uh -huh. Mel, uh, Melbourne Building. Melbourne. Va. Y la otra que se me olvida es... Live, uh, live, live, live. I don't live, live. here. Uh -huh. Live. Yo dije live, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. <laughs> and the other one is interviews. Interviews. Some, something, something interviews. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Read it again. No yes. Boys. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne buildings? I don't live here. Don't worry. Don't worry. There, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? I just told me to go to the building on my street. I know it is down the uh, street on the left side. Thank, thanks, I have to ask you something else. It's the uh, training center. There are a lot of training center on the buildings between my and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Así ahora. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Only a repeat after me. Interviews. Interviews. In interviews. ¿Cómo la pronuncié? Okay. Repeat after Inter me, interviews, interviews. Interviews. Between. Interviews. Between. Between. Okay, training uh, centers, train, training centers. Training centers. Hi, Eric, you're frozen. Eric, se congeló. Eric, Eric, you're frozen. Please answer to me. Eric se le congeló la pantalla. Eric. Eric, hello. Hello, Eric. Eric. Eric, you lost the connectivity? Okay, bye-bye.